so my transom is found of high quality found parts and uh, my idea here is to go ahead and put that in and then describe where the window is and then I'll know how deep I need to cut a kerf out of here that'll go right up into that and fill that up. I see there's a little rough cut in there. I did, I did that work during the night. I really got to stop doing them in the dark because then I miss things. So, but let me go ahead and get that balanced up on there and uh, do some measurements. All right, so by balancing that on top of the transom and then marking where uh, all the way along, I can measure and see if there's any weird run out. And if there is, I'll just take uh, the midpoint and, or the low point, And then when I put that in there, I'll balance it on the transom with a, just a, one little thin wedge <laughs> to keep, uh, keep a little room so the transom doesn't scrape this as it opens. Because this will all swell and shrink in the rain until I get it weather sealed. So um, I need to accommodate that a little bit. And it still will even after the humidity will make it. So let me go ahead and then what I'll do is I'll put the board on top of there. And I'll uh, cut out the notch there where I need it, and uh, away we'll go. Anybody's been watching the show for a while, they'll know that I, I don't really pull the tape very often. Anytime I could put the piece of wood I'm using up against what I'm measuring, I'll go ahead and do that. So I already set this off for the right depth that I want. Now I'll put the side that I want in. I want that side in because it's a little more decorative. I might do a scraped cedar on all of these. So that might be my uh that might be my goal. I'm hoping with those rough ends that I could see that. We'll see. No guarantee. I'm hoping that I could see those. Yeah, I can. I can see those. I can see them on both ends. All right, let's make this notch in here. All right. So <clears throat> What I'll go ahead and do is a couple of things. One, I'll adjust the saw blade to match that scribe there so I know how deep I'm going to make this. And then I can see where I made these marks. Go ahead and put the fence where it'll ride. Just inside that. And I'll make that cut and then that cut and then I'll cut out the middle and then we'll uh, break out the kerf. Let me get my safety glasses. dry fit before we uh, add glue and nails and such. Well, I thought about notching this out just a little, uh, but I think I'll just shave some off of here. But that's going to fit. More final fit and finish because I left my glue somewhere else, so might as well. And then outside I use, uh, you know, I'll use latex caulk or silicon caulk outside. Uh, 
Window closes. Oh, look at that, Internet. You could not. Ancient aliens have come down and cut that line for me. Yeah. Like 16th. Man, that is, that is terrific. That is terrific. All right. We're happy. Let's put a screw or two in there while it dries. Because those are true two buys. It's uh, these modern saws don't get through, <laughs> and I have to end up sawing the last little bit. I should have marked what side was uh, one of these side fit better for the curve of the window for the curve of the board. done but the caulking and the cleanup of course and the weather seal on the inside of that that looks awesome well this is Steve at thousand year homes thank you for joining me I'm getting a little worn out so I know that I probably won't get the caulk and the trim and the kick plate done done today but that'll be another day the door is close enough closer than it's ever been I actually feel a house coming one of the bad things of being a self-independent builder is uh, not only do you have to put it up, but then you have to clean it. These windows are too dirty for me to look at. <laughs> and I know when I come home tonight, I'm going to be too tired to fiddle with them. So I'm going to clean them, and then I'm going to go into town, wash up, go to town, get, get a bite to eat. So I'm going to guess each one of these windows is going to take five cleanings. That's my guess. We'll start right here with one. You know, it's nice to put these back to work. They have been sitting so long. I could tell years that uh, just waiting for the right time. They're just covered in dirt. <laughs>
already cleaned those French windows three times each. They're still dirty. <clears throat> you know, it's odd to me that when you hire people that clean houses, they will tell you that they don't do windows. <laughs> Why? Why don't they do windows? I think because no matter how clean you get a window, a person will walk in and go, you missed a spot. That's why I think people don't clean windows. Missed a spot. But windows need to be clean. This already looks better for the for the work. I haven't even done the inside yet. Step inside. I don't have. To. I don't have to. I know my conscience is going to let me stand that overspray sitting there. And those windows. So. Let's, let's get that. Let's get that. What a great way to wrap up a week. Man, what a busy week I've had. I've wrangled cattle in the rain, finished inspecting the road, building a road, got this whole whole back door assembly almost all the way done. I just need to let it cure a little bit so I can make the final adjustment on the hinges and gaps and whatnot. It'll need another washing or two. But at least I could sleep on it and look through it tonight without feeling bad. Well, everybody, thank you for watching. This is Steve at Thousand Years Homes. Thank you for joining me on a, the long door adventure. Doors take forever, so there's a lot of fiddling on doors. So, but this is in with a transom that goes out. I got a little weather seal to do, a final adjustment after a couple of weeks of cooking, uh, some uh, kick plates to put on the bottom, caulk it all the way around. Uh, up at the top, I have soffit ventilation that I need to put in. You can't see it, but it's right up there. So, uh, I'm not done. <laughs> But done enough for this video. I want to thank you. I'm going to go eat a steak at the front room. There's another restaurant in town called Your Mom's. So whenever I say how I'm going to Your Mom's, people always think I'm going to their mom's. But I'm going to Your Mom's, the restaurant. I don't know which one I'm going to pick tonight. Your Mom's has the best two uh, pork chops together. They must be two inches thick. Man, more thicker than that. They are delicious. And then the front room has the best steak I've ever, ever, ever eaten. So, I don't know. I'll get in a car. I'll point the nose towards town. I'll decide when I get there. Thank you for watching. This is Steve at Thousand Year Homes. Like, subscribe, make some comments. Bye.